think government force is going to correct the problem either, but, right, but she's she saying that if we back away and just let this invisible hand uh, the t work and competition and free enterprise happen according to its own inclinations, we're not going to have abuse, and, and abuse and evil will fall of its own weight. I don't believe that. I can't believe it because money is power. And the more money you have, the more power you have. Can we encourage you to make a contribution to that observation? I will not answer anyone who is impolite, but to show you... She wasn't impolite. I do not sanction impoliteness, and I am not the victim of hippies. But... Hippies? Th that's where it started. The, the, in what? the dropping of politeness and of manner. You're equating someone who disagrees with you with impoliteness. That's not uh, fair. No, no, no. Oh. If you didn't... <laughs> if you didn't interrupt me, I would have demonstrated what I mean. I will to show you that I'm not evading the question. If anyone else wants to ask the same question politely, I'll be delighted to answer. Well, there was nothing impolite. You are punishing this woman for the vigor and energy well, that she brought to the dialogue. The vegan, and that's not fair to her. If she starts, this is the kind of woman we spend a long time trying to attract to our television audience. And now you are... Now, then, fine. Okay, just I for the... Teach her some manners. Ms. I will now Ms. repeat Rand. what she said. Ms. Rand. She said, I used to agree with you but now that I'm more educated, what does that mean? Well, that means she now has a different view. There's nothing personal about that observation. Don't be so sensitive. I am going to be. I intend to be. We're in New York City with Ayn Rand, and we'll be back in just a moment. We're back with uh, Ayn Rand. Yeah. Do you see any reason at all for giving social aid to people, or the welfare, or if someone is disabled? Do you see any reason for social aid, for welfare, for charity? Only private charity, not through government and not through force, not with tax money. But I want to answer the preceding question. Doesn't anybody want to ask oh, it sure. politely? Yes. Uh, uh. Your question, your question asks this audience to agree with your assessment of the questioner, and I don't think they will. That's the problem. All of them? That, uh, then why do they right, want well, to listen to me at all? It. All right, does anybody, does anybody want to ask the, Yes, do you want to... All right, hang on just a moment. Come around. Do you want to stand? I am surprised that someone with the intelligence of Miss Rand can be so emotional in her approach. I can answer you. I didn't come here to be judged. I came here to answer questions. A question asked in the following form. I used to agree with you, but now that I'm more educated, I don't, is an insult which right. I cannot sanction. All right. I am not interested in the woman's history. She didn't have to begin it that way, right. and that's what I want to register my protest how do we against. Keep, how do we keep, hang on just a moment. How do we keep ITT from, from developing too much power, or any, any multinational conglomerate in your, in your world of We don't give them government privileges. Uh, all monopolies, such as ITT, is sanctioned by government. It's the government that makes this field a monopoly and forbids the entrance of competitors. All the things that this lady cited as example, I had covered before by simply pointing out that the free market does not produce monopolies and never has in history. If you look at any monopoly, you'll see that it's held in power by an act of government by government privilege. And what we have today is a mixed economy. It's not capitalism. Okay. Ms. Rand? Uh, yeah. Uh, in your book, Atlas Shrugged, isn't it true that you gave a blueprint 
for the world take over by the Illuminati. By whom? The Illuminati. Who's the Illuminati? The Illuminati is the international bankers, uh, Rothschild, the Rockefellers, and all the Bilderbergers. But you're, you're, you think her philosophy then lead, would lead to capitalist control of everything? Her Atlas shrugged. She right. gives an exact blueprint for eight years of the world takeover, and it's in, it's in, in force right now. Right. Do, you, do you accept that, uh, Ms. Certainly Frank? not. To begin with, I never heard of any such conspiracies. Certainly Rockefeller is hardly an example of capitalism, and what Atlas shrugged gives you is a blueprint for how to be free. If a person feels that he'd rather be enslaved and poor, but not let anyone be successful and rich, well, that's what Atlas Shrugged is against. I'd like to know your opinion on the United States' foreign policy and what is happening in the Middle East right now. Uh, right now, I'm not sure we know what's happening. <laughs> I think that the United States' foreign policy has been disgraceful for years, for decades, I would say roughly since the New Deal, and in part even before that. But if you mean whose side should one be on, Israel or the Arabs, I would certainly say Israel because, <laughs> think, because it's the advanced, technological, civilized country amidst a group of almost totally primitive savages who have not changed for years and who are racist and who resent Israel because it's bringing industry and intelligence and modern technology into their stagnation. Yes. Ms. Rand. Over here. Ms. Rand, am I correct? Oh. Am I correct to assume that according to your philosophy that you are a perfect being? I never judge myself that way. I judge myself in the following way. Have I absorbed and practiced all of the principles of behavior which I preach? Then I would say yes, resoundingly. Over here, Ms. Rand. Can you see me? Over here. Ms. Rand, at this time, are you planning or writing another book? I'm just planning one. Uh, apropos your atheism, how do you account uh, about the millions of people of uh, the, in the Christian religion who uh, have validated the, the philosophies that God is uh, alive? Who have validated them by what? By behaving, by doing good by, works, uh, and by uh, the doctors of the church uh, um, uh, arguments. By the, uh, oh, I see. He, it's this man's position that you can prove the, you can validate the existence of God, that it's possible to do that. It is, has not been done. The nearest anyone ever came to it was Thomas Aquinas, and he was a very great philosopher, but he could not prove it. Nobody has ever proved it. In relationship to your atheism, um, how do you think that a ITT and Xerox and General Motors won't overrun the world with their power do you believe that there is some powerful good, like 360 degrees, that always has to come back to good? No. What do you think is going to make them stop the, the monopolies or, or over the acquisition of more power? I have already made clear, A, I don't believe that they're evil. B, they don't have the power to run the world. Money is not power in the political sense. You cannot buy control. What? But it's power in the practical sense. I mean, if you have to pay $5 a gallon to get to, to, to work, a dollar and a half for a head of lettuce, your children have to eat, they have to be educated. Our system has set it up that you can only get a good education if you're willing to pay for it. So if you want us to be educated... Not necessarily. I would uh, support the early Americans who educated their own children. So and some of people? the most successful men of the 19th century never went to college. And today, those who didn't go to college are more intelligent and better informed and less easily fooled than the people who did go to college. I assume you're against compulsory education. Pardon? You're against compulsory education, I'm yes. sure. Uh, uh, no, I'm